what happened during March 2021. So, hello guys, welcome to this new video. Thanks for watching. Today, it's a personal update on what happened during March 2021. Like every single month, I'm trying to document my progress. I'm trying to document my journey to a certain level of success that I want to reach. Uh, so every month I try to at least make a vlog or at least make a certain uh, kind of uh, summary of what happened. So for those of you, if you're interested, thank you very much. And it's also in these things, I'm not doing these things just because of egoistic purpose. I'm trying to document everything so that you guys can also uh, take something from it. Because of course I have a lot of tips in it and I have a lot of things that happen. So first of all, the one thing that also um, you were more curious about is COVID. How's the situation right now and how was the situation for this previous month? We all passed COVID. We all got COVID in my family and finally also my dad and everyone else, we finally got uh, got through it. So my dad was in the hospital for 25 days, uh, not in the intensive area of the hospital, but in pre-intensive. So it means that he had to stay there uh, with oxygen all the time. But after 25 days in March, he came back and I was very happy about it. Everyone was very happy about it. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Another thing is they open everything again. So in the beginning of March, I started going around again. After a while, uh, it was a lot of time uh, before going around for some time because we were in a lockdown during winter. And now they closed <laughs> everything back again. Everybody's joking, everybody's laughing about how Italy is dealing with COVID so badly. Like we keep opening everything again and keep closing everything. So it's kind of, uh, I don't know. I really don't understand and really don't like the way they are dealing with COVID. In Europe, almost everyone's, tr almost, not everyone, but there's a lot of countries, there are a lot of countries around the world that actually got it. And now they are on a very good situation, uh, on a much better situation than they are than we are right now in Italy. And it's not because of the virus itself, it's because of how people manage it. And we still keep opening and closing everything again. So it means that the vaccine is very slow. Everything is very slow. People lose a lot of money. People lose their mind because they can, they're not allowed to go outside. And I still really crave to go outside and start working and going on with my career and moving out from Italy again. So that's it. So this is the situation for COVID. How about my birthday? On the 26th of March, of March, I had my birthday, my 24th birthday. So 24 years on this planet. That's awesome. That's awesome. I feel a little old. <laughs> Damn, 24 years. That's a lot. No, that's not a lot, <laughs> but you know, 23, you feel like a child, you feel like a teenager, you feel like a boy. And then when you go 24, 25, 26, you start, you start feeling older, but it's pretty cool. I mean, I have a lot of time and my birthday, I spent it at home. I spent it at home with my family. Uh, couldn't do anything more than that. So I also made a short video here on YouTube. 60 seconds, which was my uh, TikTok video that I put and posted here on <laughs> on YouTube. And right now, YouTube also tries to push, is trying to push these kinds of short videos. So why not? And what happened? I, I just stayed at home. I noticed that even if I wanted to do whatever I wanted, just relaxing and doing fun things, whatever I wanted during my birthday day, my birthday, sorry, I ended up doing all the things that I normally do. So my courses, meditation, Isha Kriya, uh, reading a book and uh, working out, doing, uh, having a walk. So nothing special. Uh, during nighttime, I had a birthday cake and some presents that I received from my family. So that's the only way I, and I also received a lot of messages, a lot of birthday messages, birthday wishes, and I replied to them all. All the other days, I just kept going. Nothing special actually really happened during uh, 20, during March, I received new boxing gloves. I received new books, the Inner Engineering book, 
Uh, and I also started a new book. Let me show you. I almost finished The Principles by Ray Dalio. Uh, but it's divided into two sections and I don't want to read the, both of the sections uh, one after the other because I think it would be better to read the second part about work when I'll start working. And I started reading a more spiritual booth, book by Sadhguru Midnight with the Mystic. I'm really enjoying it. In like, in like two weeks, I read almost half of the book. So I actually, I'm actually enjoying it because I normally use, I'm used to read, uh, you know, manuals or books that actually, self-development books that teach you something. So once I read a romance or a story, that's so much easier to read and it's faster and I actually enjoy it. It's been a while. So nothing actually special. I started these things. I kept going with, I also had my first massage. I never had a massage for Christmas. I got uh, gifted a massage, a professional massage, and I got it during uh, when they opened here in March and I got it and it was amazing. And I keep going with my courses. So uh, MMA, everything's all right. Uh, I keep going, I kept going with the first aid course, which is already, it's almost over. This week we have the last two, uh, two sessions and then it's over. Then I kept going with the inner engineering program, the Sadhguru course, which I'm almost ending. Uh, and on every Monday right now, I'm, I'm on a spiritual path in this period. So what I'm doing, I'm blogging all this spiritual process that I'm having, the book and everything. I'm also going on with the Isha Kriya meditation, which is a kind of initiation uh, before, while I do the inner engineering program. I do a lot of yoga. So instead of doing uh, workouts in the gym, I do yoga and I do of course, MMA and other things, dancing, so other things. Uh, but instead of doing workouts there for this period, when I'm finishing, until I finish the inner engineering program, I just keep going with yoga. Uh, so I'm on to a kind of spiritual path. I also got a new gemstone. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this crystal, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Damn, I love crystals. For my birthday, I received new silk pillowcases. I received this thing here for my smartphone and Apple Watch and everything to charge it faster and wirelessly. And also I received some tea. I received a tea cup because uh, I started drinking and eating more healthily. So that's pretty it. I kept going with all my courses. So yoga course, MMA, singing. I keep going with singing, dancing classes, uh, and also acting online. I really hope that I will start, that I can start doing acting again, because I think that this is the last time that they should close everything on lockdown. I really hope that from now on, it will just be less and less restrictions. I really hope so until summer. And they promised here in Italy, at least, that everyone will have will be vaccinated or at least 90%, 60%, I don't know uh, how's the number, to open everything back again for summer. And then of course, in summertime, uh, with the warm weather, it will be easier uh, to not get COVID, to not spread it out, and it will be easier anyway. So I really hope that right now it will be the last time. Uh, it started also doing really good weather here in Italy. So it's springtime. Uh, so every day, almost every day, I, at least four times per week, six times, five times, four times, five times per week. I also go outside and have a walk and I really enjoy nature. This spiritual path that I'm having is really helping me being present in the moment and conscious. So I'm improving a lot in this sense. And that's it guys. I kept posting on social media, but a little less than usual, uh, just cause I'm, I'm focusing on myself right now. Uh, I'm focusing a lot right now. I cannot go outside. I cannot do anything. I just keep improving myself. I just keep going with my course courses and I just keep improving myself so that one day, once it all opens up again, 
uh, I will explode my potential, right? Sometimes I feel down, sometimes I feel uh, good, but it's pretty normal. I think the whole world is doing like that. Also my job, I was working on some projects and launching uh, a business right now with some pause, but we are starting to work on it again so for job my job i don't have a job right now i'm also tr i'm trying i'm making i'm starting to making some money again through my social media so that helps uh, but i don't have expenses i'm here at home uh, i have my social media right now pays uh, for the little things that i that i buy so that's pretty good but for the job and the things that i want to for uh, the projects that I had were slowly, slowly starting again. So everything's starting to go slowly, but uh, I think in a better, we will be in a better situation very soon. I also started my skincare routine back again with The Ordinary and it's pretty awesome. My skin feels so much better. And guys, we had Easter and we had my birthday and many other events during March, so I ate a little more than usual. Uh, I love chocolate <laughs> and chocolate eggs, guys. Man, as the Easter eggs are they're amazing. And we also have uh, uh, so many sweets here in Italy for, uh, for Eastern time, so. Uh, but I decided, I also watched a very cool documentary called Sea Spiracy. And guys, doing this yoga, uh, period and doing this spiritual thing, I really noticed and I really understood, as I already told you, that I want to start slowly become a vegetarian. I have a disgust for vegetables. It's a chronic thing. I even if I see a vegetable, I might throw out, throw out, throw up. Sorry, but I I'm slowly fighting it. These previous three days, I uh, tried three different. I, try, I tried um, strawberry for the first time in my life. I tried broccoli and I tried a carrot for the first time. It was so hard, guys. I feel every time that I try something new like this, I feel disgust and it's almost like I have to jump out of the cliff. You know, my heartbeat, my heart rate starts increasing. It's pretty bad, but I want to start slowly become more and more plant-based as a diet and I think that during April during this month I'm gonna go for a professional to try having this progress much faster because I want to slowly progress into that I think that my self-development journey like I'm learning so much every day from podcasts books and everything so I'm doing all the courses and all the things that I've always wanted to do the only thing that is left is my diet because I never had a perfect diet because of this vegetable disgust that I had. So right now, if I fix that, and it's something that I want to fix uh, until, because I'm here at home, this is the only thing that I can do, uh, I want to do it. I want to do it, and I think that once I'll do it, I'll start be more productive, more be more healthy, be more energetic, and also with the yoga, I, can, I, I can't wait to also finish the inner engineering program because uh, I will be initiated into a most into a more powerful uh, yoga exercise that I will do every day, the Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya, which is supposed to help a lot. And I think that I will also start waking up earlier. Because if you, I notice that your body is actually what you eat. So once I now start eating more vegetables and more fruits, I notice that I feel much better and also more, much more energetic and less lethargic because I always sleep a lot and I hate sleeping too much. Uh, I want to wake up early and I know that by changing my diet and by keep going with yoga, I can also do that. And I think th that would be the last thing in the puzzle to unlock, to unlock, sorry, all the doors that were already opened. Uh, because I had the keys, like all the books, the productivity, the discipline, I've already done, done these things. But I, that one thing, once I open it, it will explode. And that's it, guys. So I keep documenting everything on social media, TikTok, Instagram, uh, not too much, and YouTube, not too much. 
but I noticed that it's slowly, yes, I don't get those many views and I don't post as much, but I noticed that the people that watch me are actually slowly and slowly more really interested in what I want to say instead of just my aspect and everything. Uh, my appearance, my body and my look. But once everything opens up again, I want to give another try to acting and uh, and modeling. So if I go to the United States, probably LA, uh, I will definitely give it another try because that's part of a career, that's part of a personal brand that I want to build. I also want to go maybe working for a nonprofit, maybe helping the oceans, maybe helping the seas, maybe helping animals and nature. I really love that topic. So yes, that's it guys. This was ha what happened in March. Probably I missed something, but if you follow me, if you've been watching my videos, and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what happened during March. So these were the main things. Thanks a lot guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace. Oh yeah guys, just another couple of things. Of course, I shaved my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice? I tried to shave, I tried to grow my beard during winter time, but uh, it didn't work as well as I thought. I used some products, they helped, but you know, in the end, I decided, you know what, it's better like this. Uh, so the products finished, and I decided that it's better to just end the suffering. And another thing, I also broke one of my teeth. Maybe you don't see it, but this canine here is it was already smaller. Than, than this one but I did something with my teeth so I I'm slowly I just finished like one month ago the uh, the journey that I had for years uh, for my teeth to fix it perfectly I know that I have to do something more for this and also for my bite because during night time I uh, do like this but nothing special like there are just some little things that I had to adjust and the last thing is I also worked and doing some exercises like the Ikigai exercise to discover my passion and some introvert, some introspecting exercises. And I'm slowly getting there. I understanding that I don't, I don't have a passion and all this time spent looking for a passion that I didn't have, it's so stupid. I'm passionate about everything. I love everything about life. There, if I put some energy and effort into anything and concentrate on it for some time, it would be uh, a passion for me. So uh, I really don't have a passion. Everything that I already do is a passion and I just need to do what is needed joyfully and learning to be happy no matter what happens, this is necessary. So helping people, improving myself, helping to evolve humanity and just doing what it's needed to also be financial free because and helping people. So that's it. This is my passion. This is uh, <laughs> the plan that I have for my personal brand. And this is a huge thing for me because uh, I've always strived to look for a passion and now I understand that uh, it doesn't matter. Like Steve Jobs says, Steve Jobs says here, it's something that you connect the dots afterwards, looking backwards. So you have to keep going and doing what you like every single day. Uh, I'm also slowly getting rid of many things on my routines to be more free and to actually live like a human being instead of a machine. So that's it, guys. This is part of the journey. And thanks for watching.